Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. A very happy new year to you all. It is 2020 and I am so thrilled that we all made it here. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I hope you are too. I wanted to start this video by saying one thing. 2019, as we all know, is over and done with. So whatever happened in 2019, whether good or bad, but mostly bad, forget about it. This is a brand new year and a brand new opportunity to move forward. So let's make 2020 our best year yet. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ola Jumoke. I would very much love for you to consider subscribing to my channel and becoming part of my family here on YouTube. So this is a time of the year when a lot of us are thinking about our strategies for the new year, perhaps thinking about our goals, our visions, or even putting together some New Year's resolutions. For those of you ladies that are looking to become more feminine, I have five different pointers to help you instantly elevate your level of femininity. If you'd like to know more about this subject, keep on watching. The first pointer I have is to do with hygiene. What's your hygiene level like? Do you cleanse every day? Do you take a bath at least once every day? Do you clean your teeth at least once every day? What do you smell like? Do you use deodorants or perhaps herbal remedies to really elevate your bodily smell? Do you actually care about your hair? Do you use a little bit of rouge perhaps when you go out? Do you take time every single morning to make sure your hair looks presentable? How well do you present as a person? Experts actually say that when you walk into a room, the first thing people notice is not necessarily what you are wearing, but your hair. Imagine a woman who is so elegantly dressed, you know, looks very chic and very classy, and her hair looks an absolute mess. What would you be thinking? Exactly, something is definitely not right here. So it's very important that we pay special attention to hygiene because this trumps everything else. That leads me nicely into point two, which is to do with your appearance. What I mean by that is, how do your clothes fit on you? Do they fit nicely and appropriately? Or do you wear clothes that are perhaps two sizes too small for you, or make you look very sort of, um, they fit very baggy on you? You know, they don't help you show off your very lovely figure. Feminine ladies make sure that their clothes are ironed, oppressed, and are clean. It doesn't matter whether you're wearing designer clothes or luxury goods or whatever. If your clothes don't look clean and ironed, it just gives off a very lazy vibe and it shows that you really don't care about your appearance. The third pointer is manners. Manners matter most. A real lady is the epitome of good manners. I'm sure we all grew up with parents and grandparents who would sort of tell us off every time we did something or perhaps we exhibited a trait that showed that we lacked manners. For some reason, I think as people grow older, they sort of forget their manners or they leave it outside the door when they walk into a room. That's not good enough. If someone does a favour for you or completes a task for you, say the words, thank you. If you need someone to perhaps complete a favour for you, use the words, please. If you are out and about and you bump into someone you know who's perhaps having lunch or dinner with someone else, take the time to actually ask for permission from the other individual who's sat at the table. Don't just barge in and start a conversation on a whim. It actually shows when you don't ask for permission that you lack manners and it shows that you have no respect for the person who sat at the table, nor your friend, nor yourself. One thing that I know a lot of men, gentlemen, find detestable is a woman who belches without saying excuse me or just, you know, has no control of herself. No one wants to hear you belching, no one wants to smell it. It can be quite off-putting at um, a meal table, so don't do that if you want to be more feminine. The fourth uh, pointer I have is to do with your countenance, your demeanour, your posture, your attitude. Feminine ladies tend to sit very upright with their legs together and not open, showing the whole world your bits or even slouching. It just shows that you have very little control of your body and you can't be bothered, especially when you slouch. 
it gives off a sense that you actually don't want to be there and you don't respect those around you. Another thing I would point out is avoiding dragging your feet as you walk. The sound alone can be quite offensive to the ears and you don't want to be that person who walks into a room and before people turn around to see who it is, they already know it's you because you're dragging your feet. So let's do better when we walk. Let's walk with purpose and class. The fifth and final pointer, which I know can be quite controversial, but these are my opinions. If you beg to differ, that is perfectly within your prerogative. The fifth thing is your words. Are you very vulgar when you speak? Do you use a curse word or a swear word or profanity after every sentence? Do you speak about yourself or others in a very demeaning manner, especially in the corporate world? Most people would say that it shows a real lack of self-control and etiquette. So let's be a bit more tasteful with our words if you want to be more elegant and feminine. That is it for me, my darlings. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you are not already subscribed. Please hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos from me. I should be bringing you more of these discussions around how to be more elegant and chic and the best version of yourself. So have a wonderful day and a very happy new year to you. Bye for now.